What's going on, Cinepals? I am Andrew Flash Gordon, and I am joined by the great, the wonderful, the amazing Sintel. Yo, what's cracking, baby? Nothing, dude. Missed you, man. We gotta do hey. more videos. I know, right? Yeah, you know what I'm but I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad we get to do this. We are here to react and review Rise of the Guardians. I had heard of this film many years ago. It dropped on my radar, so, but I'm glad I get to react to it with you guys, and especially the great Sintel, so looking forward to it. If you are watching this on YouTube, you will get a cut-down version of our reactions. We can only show you a limited amount of picture-in-picture picture of the film, but if you want to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, please head on over to our Patreon page at Patreon dot com slash jabby kway or become a member of this channel you will get access to the full uncut reaction but you will need your own copy of the film so you can sync up with us but don't worry we make it really easy for you for those of you watching on patreon or memberships already we thank you so much for your kindness and support you guys are truly the best for those of you watching on youtube please hit the subscribe button bell icon all notifications and smash the like button so you can let youtube know that you are enjoying what you're watching you ready to watch this intel yes sir all right rise of the guardians commence Ark. it was cold I saw the moon. And, uh, chase the darkness. Whoa. Away. Huh. That was awesome. Wow. Okay. Get your Gandalf on or whatever. Magic staff. Man, I gotta get me one of those staffs. <laughs> Great for beverages. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not room temperature anymore. This is great. Uh, the childlike exuberance. <laughs> that is making me feel like a child, too. I love it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get used to those flights, dude. Oh, yeah. It's like the, when the hero's trying to figure it out. Yeah. Great American I heroes. Yeah. Sp Spider Man taking his first jump. Or, Neo taking the first jump. Man of Steel when he's <laughs> first learning to fly. My name is Jack Frost. How do I know that? Moon told me so. Okay. It was a long, long time ago. Lots of mystery. Okay. I have a feeling Ice is going to play a big part in this film. So I'm assuming that's Santa. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I think so. Ooh, with your pointy heads. Why are you always under boot? Santa got a sword? <laughs> this is a mean Santa. Have you checked the axis? Is rotation Whoa. Santa got, got a Wookiee and oh my goodness. Huh. Wait a minute, what kind of Santa got like toys and cool little gadgets and a sword? Oh. Oh. That different kind of okay. tooth fairy? Oh, is that what that is? Okay, yeah. Oh, Roar Borealis, that's my bucket list. I want to see that before I go. Our yeah. job to watch over the children of the world and keep them safe, to bring wonder, hope, and dreams. And so I've called it Sandman, I bet. Only the children are in danger. Thank you for the wonderful dreams, Sandman. Oh, man. Another reference to another great show on Netflix, Sandman. Watch it if you haven't. Uh, oh, I my haven't gosh. seen that. So good. Dang. Quick, any? Yeah. Whoa, Dude, that's Easter Bunny a cute been working out, rabbit. dude. Yeah, I was about to say. He looked like a gymnast. Yeah. He's definitely not eating Easter snacks. Look. Ah, man and moon. Sandy, why didn't you say something? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, that's imposing. Uh, guys, you know what this means? He's Jack Frost. Yeah. Take me home. Ah, so he uses the wind to fly. Okay. I love how he's mastered uh, how to use it now. Who's Jack Frost? 
Oh, that's great. Hey, you're not allowed to, not allowed to use ice balls. <laughs> okay, who threw that? Well, it wasn't Bigfoot, kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> Kids will be kids. <laughs> All right, who needs ammo? <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh. Dang. I hit cupcake. She hit cupcake. Cupcake? Oh. Did you throw that? No. Wasn't me. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Cupcake was about to start breaking limbs. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Jamie. I got you. Hold on. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> this kid must be like having fun and tripping out at the same time. <laughs> uh, dangerous. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. oh yeah. Wow, Jamie, that looks Jamie are you all right? Okay? Yeah, that's awesome. Right. It was amazing. I saw I did a jump in and I slid under. Ah. Oh. Oops. Oh. The final destination moment. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> this got dark really quick. <laughs> What's the guy got to do to get a little attention around here? Aww. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. What an adorable dream. And look at her. Precious child. Damn, he is scary looking. So menacing. Full of hope and wonder. Why, there's only one thing missing. That voice sounds so feet. familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds like Jarvis in uh, Iron Man. You must have known this day would come. My nightmares are finally ready. Ah! <laughs> he said the thing. Whoa! <laughs> Hello, mate. <laughs> the Easter Bunny. Been a long time. <laughs> He got a boomerang. <laughs> a carrot boomerang. Fellas. Hey! Put that in your way. Put me down! What the? Uh, 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 I couldn't just ask him. <laughs> got to get I think they to know he was, he was just not going to cooperate. Uh, quiet. Hey, there he is. Jack Frost. There's Santa with a sword in the picture. Am I on the naughty list? Ah, on naughty list? <laughs> you hold the record. Nah. <laughs> because now you are guardian. You've been knighted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could be wrong, but it sounds like the actor who voices Santa is the one who voices Zangief in Wreck -It, Wreck it Ralph, but I could be wrong on that. When Peach threatens us, he threatens them as well. All the more reason to pick someone more qualified. Pick? You think we pick? No, you were chosen like we were all chosen by Man and Moon. Was it Jim Carrey, Man on the Moon? <laughs> Great movie, by the way. I love that movie. Nothing personal, of course. What you all do, it's just, it's not my thing. Man and Moon says it is your thing. We will see. I like I didn't even read what he was saying. He's like, yeah. Well, go on. Are downright jolly, but not just jolly. I am also mysterious. <laughs> There's a tiny wooden baby. Look closer. Mm -hmm. Big eyes, very big, because oh, I like full that. of wonder and magic in the air. This ah, that's dope. I'm loving the background music too. The score. Yeah. Yeah. Thought for a sec one of his reindeer were Krampus. Dang. Okay, one ride, but that's it. Nah. Yeah, right. How can you say no? <laughs> 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 
Jack Frost is like, I do this all every day. <laughs> Welcome to my world, buddy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That definitely needs to be a ride. Yeah. Like uh, TIE Fighters coming in or something. Yeah. Hey, little baby. You are a guardian. Yeah. Well, baby, I mean, the action is, is pretty good. Yeah, I, I I love the cinematography and the tracking shots. They're spectacular. Oh yeah, the sound design is really good too. They took my fairies and the teeth, all of them. Oh, oh thank goodness, one of you is all right. I have to say, this is very very exciting. Mm. All right, Jude. Why are you doing this? Maybe I want what you have to be believed in. Hmm. Mm. Is that? Jack Frost, a neutral party. Then I'm going to ignore you, but you must be used to that. Yeah. Dang. The shots are crazy. Dark ages. Everyone frightened. Miserable. Such happy times for me. Oh, the power I wield. If enough kids stop believing, everything your friends protect, wonder, hopes, and dreams, it all goes away. No Christmas or Easter or little fairies that come in the night. Okay, I don't like this guy anymore. Dang. That's going to be real tough to get people to not believe in Christmas, though. <laughs> no. But I can see the cool little angles with this because Jack yeah. has never been believed in, so... That's his power. And that's also why he's the most perfect person to go up against him. He yeah. understands. And when someone needs to remember what's important, we help them. Now I regret not keeping mine. Wow, that's really sad. When you lose him. Yours too. I, my memories? From when you were young. I wasn't anyone before I was Jack Frost. Well, of course you were. We were all someone before we were chosen. Mm. Huh. That's interesting. They've got prequel material now. Are you saying I had a life before that? With, with, a, with a home and a family? And we have to get them back. <gasps> oh, no. Uh-oh, she's losing uh -oh. her powers. We will collect the teeth. Millions of kids. Give me a break. You know, <laughs> one night and age yeah. I hide in one day. That, that is kind of true. They're kind of built for that. We will get you your memories. And Sandy literally touches everybody every night. He's like, I do this every night. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, in Lord of the Rings with uh, the competition of who could kill the most orcs. Y'all got to get those little fairies back. <laughs> you guys have been leaving gifts, right? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's got to be confusing to the kids a little bit. Why aren't they going out? They're collecting the teeth. Fine. Have your last hurrah for tomorrow. All oh, your pathetic scrambling will be for nothing. Ooh, we're going after Sandy? Look, let's just get you taken care of. And it's Pitch's turn. Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> Too many cookies, man. <laughs> Did you call me? <laughs> Send. Oh my god. The tooth fairy. Kid must be tripping out. Surprise. We came. <laughs> he can see us. Not you. Most of us. Oh man. Oh, that does kind of suck though. He's still awake. Sand, knock him out. 
<laughs> it's like, come here, kid. It's only gonna hurt for a moment. Oh. Whoops. <sighs> That's great. I love the visuals. Nah. <laughs> oh no. Oh wow. Oh, oh. Oh no. You made it my fight when you stole those teeth. Teeth? Why do you care about the teeth? Now this is who I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Oh dang, all right, Sandy. Whoa. That is symbiote cool. fight. Dang, Sandy Dang, ain't playing around, Sandy. dude. <laughs> Sandy said, I am him. Believe it. Okay, easy. You can't blame me for trying, Sandy. You tried to steal my style. Whoa. Damn. Dude, I love the way Sandy is depicted in this. Yeah. Never would I ever have thought of it like that. Actually, for all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're for very sure. unique. Just, he's really a standout for me, but yeah. I'd say sweet dream, but there aren't any left. No, not Sandy. Okay. Whoa. Jack Frost, thunderclap. Dang. That's impressive. Jack, how did you do that? I, I, I didn't know I could. Self-discovery power is the best. Buckle up. Uh, <laughs> good, we can see how the tunnels work. I was kind of hoping we could. Welcome to the Warren. Oh no, is he affected that area too? At least I thought the little girl, that's where she warped to. Oh right, the little girl. That's right. Yeah. You're right. Yep, good call. Sophie? <laughs> Fantastic. All right, troops. It's time to push back. That means eggs everywhere. Pigs are you in every high rise, firehouse, and trail park. In tennis shoes and cereal <laughs> balls. Oh, there'll be bathtubs filled with my beautiful... Getting a little John Williams vibe with this music. Mm. Like Harry Potter Home alone -a. I think it's time to get her home. How about I take her home? Jack, no. Pitch is No match for this. We should be quick as a bunny. <laughs> I thought everything goes through him, but he can physically hold on. Okay. Yeah. You know, kind of like in Ghost. Ghost. I was, just, I was yeah. literally just thinking that too. Once Dang. he solved that power of touching and doing things, yeah. That's that good sleep. Yeah. When you just, wherever you land is yeah. just where it happens. I don't care where it's at. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, don't believe it. Voice, yeah, worried voice. it's pitch. Like maybe pitch with one of the memories from the Tooth Fairy. Mm, that's right. He does have the teeth, so... Don't do it. Mm. Wrong rabbit hole to go down. There's one thing I learned in all my years of watching films and TV shows. Don't jump down dark and scary holes. <laughs> I have to find out what that is. Oh, boy. Try. That's what it is. Get you out of here just as soon as I uh, What is all of that down there? I can't. Oh, that's where the teeth were. Oh yeah, the memories. Looking for something. Uh. 
Don't be afraid, Jack. I'm not gonna hurt you. Man, you gave him home field advantage. Mm -mm. Get I checked everywhere. There's nothing. Yes, there is. There is. I mean, these are my best looking googies, but they'll do in a pinch. I can't believe it. I, I know. <laughs> they don't believe in him anymore, so now they can't see him. Wrong. Not not true. I'm, I'm right in front of you, man. Yep. When oh. they don't believe in you, they can't see you anymore. Where did you get that? It's. Uh, Where's Baby Tooth? What have you done? That is why you weren't here. Oof. And squad's having controversy. Mm. Guys, I told you, I saw him. He's way bigger than I thought, and he's got these cool boomerang things. Ugh, grow up, oh, Jamie. man, seriously? There's just no Easter this year. He really is real. All you need is one believer, just one at least. Come on. Come on, team. It, it looks bleak right now. All those years in the shadows, I thought no one else knows what this feels like. Except Jack. But now I see I was wrong. We don't have to be alone, Jack. I believe in you. Don't let him manipulate you. You want to be left alone. Done. But first. Oh. Baby two. Hey. No, no, no. The staff, Jack! No. You have a bad habit of interfering. Now hand it over. I just realized dude's got no eyebrows. Got the Voldemort thing going on. Yeah, just needs <laughs> a, a snake snout. <laughs> oh, don't hurt baby tooth. All right, now let her go. No. What? Hey. Oh, no. Ah. You never needed that staff. The power is within you. Yeah, that it's like part. Like Thor and ha the hammer, Monier. He doesn't need Monier. Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? I'm scared. Oh no. I know, I know. But you're gonna be all right. Lay down flat. Lay down flat. You wanna play a game? We're gonna play hopscotch. Like we play every day. It's as easy as uh, one. Oh boy. Whoa. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. <sighs> all right. Now it's your turn. That's how the cane came, huh? Okay. Three. Oh, he's gonna fall now and do it. No. Yeah! Uh, was I, I missed it? Was that his sister or daughter? His sister, I think. I remember. It was me. I had a family. I had a sister. I saved her. <laughs> He's always been a hero. I'm, I'm a guardian. Hmm. <laughs> right? Oh. There we go. Yeah. He's back. <laughs> yeah, stronger than ever. Now he knows who he is. There we go. Let's get to freeing everybody. We won't be needing any Christmas toys this year, thank you. We need to ditch pitch. Only six left. Three. That must be the main kid who actually <laughs> physically saw them. One. Jamie. Yep. You and I are obviously at what they call it. <laughs> if it wasn't He's having an adult moment right you now. If are real, then you have to prove it. Like, right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, it feels so like ghosts. Yeah, that one's permanent. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jack Frost. Yeah, now he can see him. He believes in him. Should be able to see him. He believes in him. Jack Frost. <laughs> yes. He sees me. Aww. He sees me. What a great moment. <laughs> you just made it snow. I know. In my room. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think brings you all the blizzards in, in the snow days? And you remember when you went flying on that sled the other day? That was you. <laughs> And the tooth fairy, like, I mean, what real, about real, real, real. Every one of us is real. I knew it. Hey, <laughs> um, Jack Frost. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh oh. You better protect that kid at all costs. Yeah, seriously. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I'd say he's the gift that keeps on giving, but more like the light that keeps on giving. You okay? Uh. What are you doing here? Same as you. He believes. Ah, here he come to ruin a good time. This way, this way. Ah, dead end. Other way, other way. <laughs> Santa back hurting. <laughs> I can't beat him. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if Jamie can see pitch. We're gonna have a little fun instead. Yeah. That's it. That's my center. Yes. Now let's go get your friends. Oh! How dare you throw a snowball at me? <laughs> Jimmy, how are you these, these, these kids Jack Frost. Come on, we need your help. These kids are either going to grow up very happy or need a lot of therapy explaining this Lots. to people. <laughs> hours and hours of therapy. <laughs> and we'll protect you, mate. Oh, you'll protect them. <laughs> but who will protect you? I will. I will. Yes. I will. <laughs> I will. And me. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> You're the realest of all of them. Yeah, appropriate. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a give it a good go. I do believe in you. I'm just not afraid of you. Oh, him fighting words. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Go Jamie. The golden sand. <laughs> we want Sandy. Bring Sandy back. <laughs> I, I didn't know Santa? I needed to see Santa with swords in my life, but <laughs> I'm glad I did. <laughs> We're the guardians. Look at that. I got it. I know what we have to do. Guys, <laughs> come on. It's over, Pitch. Hey, look at the size of that scythe. Yeah. Jack, look out. Whoa, yeah. Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> Please be Sandy. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, dang. That's right. The Sandman! <laughs> it makes sense that he went after Sandman first because he is... I mean, they're all powerful, obviously, but he is really, really powerful. Yeah. If he was a... Uh X-Men, he'd be a an Omega level mutant. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> a very proper analogy, Sintel. Oh, 
Oh, is he going out how Jack went through the ice? Mm. So soon? You didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> A quarter. <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> Ow. Yeah, you, you did deserve to get socked at least once. They're coming back for their master. Uh-huh. Back in your hole. It's almost a little like the first Nightmare on Elm Street where you, you take back that fear that Freddy instilled in you and you just ignore him kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just have a moment. Uh, look, 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 baby, was like, uh, uh, get your hands off my man. What's up, what you doing? <laughs> Congratulations, Jack Frost, for you are now and forevermore a guardian. Well deserved. Yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely like the way Jack Frost was used in this film over Santa Claus 3 with Tim Allen and Martin Short. <laughs> that was a deep reference, but I, I feel that one. <laughs> what if we stop believing again? If I can't see you. Hey, hey, slow down. Slow down. You tell me you stop believing in the moon. Believing isn't seeing. Seeing is believing? No. Mm. It's the other way. And now, we'll always be here. <laughs> Which... Kind of makes you a guardian, too. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it. Yes, sir. Wow, that is a really good movie. Peter Ramsey was the director, huh? Yeah. Listen, in case oh. you don't know who Peter Ramsey is yeah. and to why this movie is so good, Peter Ramsey also directed a little Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I think I've heard of that one. Yo, I had no idea that Peter Ramsey directed this. I mean, that says a lot. Like, yeah, I get it. I totally get it now. Yeah, he's fantastic in animation. I know, I know I've said this a million times. Into the Spider-Verse is without a doubt probably my favorite animated feature and arguably my favorite superhero film of all times, much less animation. So to know that that's why I'm feeling like there's a lot of moments in this project where I it had my heartstrings. I was yeah. like, oh, am I, yeah. am I about to drop a couple? <laughs> to be honest, I, I really did like Into the Spider-Verse. The only thing is I only have seen that film once and that was... A a day or so after I had major surgery done. So oh. I was still a little bit out. I'm definitely going to rewatch it again before the, the next, I believe the next film's coming out very soon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like another month or so. I do remember really enjoying it. It's just, again, a lot of the drugs were still kicking in from, <laughs> from surgery and stuff. So this is good. Miles Morales is one of my favorite comic book characters, but I'm a little loopy and out of it right now. But yeah, no, I mean, uh, he's a fantastic director. He really knows how to get it in the emo, uh, you know, in the emotional department and, yeah. He just understands characters so, so dang well. Um, yes. Yes. It's, it's all, it is all about the feels and the characters and knowing, you know, it's, it's not just us being affected emotionally is yeah. watching these characters. It's such a simple thing too. Like when Santa was breaking down, you know, what is it that makes you who you are? And he takes that old Russian toy with the dolls and explains that we are that all of us are very complicated people and there's different layers to all of us but at your center what yeah. what is it that That's makes a, you you it's a good lesson for i mean not only the characters in the film especially jack but just us the audience in a film filled with fantasy it still is it's a grounded lesson for us all that we can all relate to and that i really appreciate that's why i think this film is it's a it's a quote i say in a lot of the especially it seems like these sony animation films it's a very mm. deep film like on so many levels if you go to one hour and 31 minutes and 30 eight seconds there is a little bit of an extra scene here where all the children are being returned home oh <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh okay eggs. it was the eggs okay yeah, the eggs like, how was she doing that <laughs> 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 Man, these kids they never got sleep like that I wonder if they're gonna remember that's a good question you know Jamie ain't forgetting it <laughs> I needed one of those when I was in college. Yeah, I was gonna say after, after a long them. night. <laughs> uh, uh, Yeti's got you back. Uh oh. Uh. 
<laughs> That's great. Yeah. Really? Oh. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh, she good. She loves so that ground uh, yeah. sleeping ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's great. This is definitely in a, fil a film I'm going to be watching most likely every December now. I will add be adding <laughs> it to my, uh, my Christmas collection of films in December. I got to tell you, the Sony animation films I have been watching recently, whether it's Kung Fu Pandas 1 and 2, uh, this mega mind i mean they just been killing it for years obviously we know disney animation is a major staple in the game but yeah. sony animation ain't nothing to sneeze at in my opinion at. yeah i mean because you have to think about like the the rise of pixar has really changed how storytelling has been mm. done not just in animation but just storytelling just in general and to see you know other studios be like no wait 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 yes there is the pixar formula and there is a clear-cut formula that they use but don't forget that we have some really excellent storytellers over here as well yeah. and I think when we have that kind of competition competition is good because we the viewers get to win we get to see these excellent tales be, oh, yeah. being told and I'm glad that well Pixar's isn't necessary they're, they're not in their golden age anymore mm. but you know but you, you gotta respect it when they were on top when it comes to this type of storytelling and this came out during the rise of Pixar you know 2012 you know that's the Pixar's at its height oh yeah also explains kind of maybe why potentially not as many people are privy to this. You know, like my, my son has told me about this movie forever, but most of the folks that I know, you know, I've heard about it, you know, but never really just took the extra step to make this like, you know, let me see what this is about. And, you know, it's not surprising that it's not a mainstream kind of staple because, you know, there was a bigger, heavier, more bullying type of storyteller in the room in Pixar. So I, I can understand that. I can understand the why. Yeah, no, you, you make a excellent points. I agree with everything you said. And just really quickly, I was just looking at uh, Peter Ramsey's uh, career. He was a storyboard artist. Makes total sense. You can tell the love that you see in the visuals in this film and that the man knows what he's doing. Remember uh, during one of the moments in the film where Jack Frost does like the thunderclap? I was giving the little Hulk reference to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, it appears that Peter Ramsey did work on 2003's Ang Lee's or Hulk as the storyboard artist. Oh, like, the oh, Ang Lee the, version, the, which yeah. is visually very good. Story, maybe not so much, but... Visually, yes. that Hulk was really fun. I yeah. agree. No, you could tell that Ang Lee is a huge comic book fan, but uh, yeah. just from the visuals and all that, the way he comic book stylized it. But I just thought that was such an interesting thing to have in there uh, because, again, we, we mentioned the thunderclap of uh, Hulk, but this film was really, really well crafted, really well directed. I love the storyline. And also, too, I thought this film, Sintel, had such a menacing, such a wonderful villain in yeah. pitch. I really, from the visual design to all the way his powers worked and everything, even though we got the Guardians who are the most powerful beings in the in the world, like I, I truly felt threatened for them when I was watching this film. Like obviously at the end of the day, you know they're probably going to defeat him, of course, but in the moment you're not thinking that. You're really thinking like, this this dude's on there and he's and he's intelligent as well. He went after Sandman first because he knew knows how yeah. powerful he is and the way he's trying to manipulate Jack Frost and getting on his side and then using uh you know the fear of uh, how he is so emotional and how he you know saving people is a big thing because that's how he became who he was uh, in yeah. terms of saving his sister and now threatening Baby Tooth. It's just a very methodical, intelligent, menacing, scary villain. And I thought Jude Law really did a great job of voicing that character. Another thing is like um, is the bravery in the writing because we we live in a we live in a space where you kind of got to you know tiptoe around certain things mm. and one of and two of those things that is very beloved uh, with, within our culture and our lexicon is, is Christmas and Easter yeah. because there's there's other tones that, that are involved with it and, and the big one is is of course Christianity you know this project didn't focus on, on that side of a very public holiday it focused on the things that make those days kind of special, the feeling behind it. 
But there's also like, you know, maybe there's a sense of like, you know, there's some pagan-ish kind of rituals that go along with these holidays. I'm not going to go into the into the weeds yeah. regarding, you know, the holidays itself, but it can if this subject matter was done incorrectly, it could have really spiraled out of control. Absolutely. You know, this is this is a very touchy kind of subject matter yeah. to, to kind of Yeah, discuss. not only spiraled out of control, but some people could have found it offensive. I think it was done in a very mature, smart way to the point where everyone at, at least from my perspective where everyone can get behind it and not get <laughs> offended by it. Um, right, right. Yeah, no, I, I love the way they went about, uh, again, just all all the Guardians uh, basically going over all their powers and the way they work and how they're believed upon and, you know, the significance of not only their powers, of but what gives them their powers in terms of the belief that they instill into other children, whether it's their holiday or not. And I just thought it was done in a way that children can understand it and yes. adults can res- you know say this is respectful it's not done in a again offensive way that's a great point you made absolutely couldn't agree more with you yeah there's a there's an old film that came out way back in the day Alan anyways, Moore yeah Alan Moore yes there's an Alan Moore project where they kind of did this thing where it's this this hodgepodge group of very known individuals who go out to say, go out and save the world, uh, and it was called the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh-huh. And you had all kinds of different people from different walks of life and different stories that that have to fight like this this big bad. And the comic itself is considered a very legendary comic, but it fell really very flat in the theaters. It yeah. just did not it did not do well that, whatsoever. Uh, that's uh, Sean Connery's best film, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's probably one of his yeah. last films yeah, I, too. I, I, if believe I, remember it, right. I believe it was his last film, and actually, the director of that film, St- uh, Stephen Norrington, did one of my favorite comic book films, a 1998 film starring Wesley Snipes, known as Blade. Ooh, that's a good call. Arguably. Yeah. Arguably, in many circles, the thing that kicked off Marvel, oh, not yeah, Iron no, dude, Man, that but was, I mean, I didn't even, yeah. again, this is, I was only <laughs> nine and a half, ten at the time, so yeah. I just thought I was watching a vampire movie. I didn't even, right. I mean, obviously they had the Marvel <laughs> logo, but logo, excuse me, and uh, I remember, of course, Blade was in the uh, animated Spider-Man uh, when I was a kid, but it yeah. never felt like a comic book film whenever I was watching, is the point I think I'm trying to uh, make. By the way, the actor who voiced Jamie, Dakota Goyo, I think is how you say his name, G-O-Y-O. Uh, okay. He was in Real Steel, which I have not seen the year before with Hugh Jackman, so it makes sense why Hugh Jackman would most likely fight to get him on this. He was also, a year before that, he played young Thor in Kenneth Branagh's Thor in 2011. Oh, wow. Okay, that's another deep cut. Okay. And it feels like it. You know, it's very epic, very grand, you know, big hero, gigantic hero moments, epic fight scenes, Uh, you know, a hat tip. I know we we always talk about, you know, a hat tip to the animators, but just the animation Uh, style, you know, the all the particle effects, everything oh, yeah. doing with the between the between the nightmare dust yes. and the dream dust, and all of the quick if we're going through rabbit holes or riding on Santa's sleigh, like it's just a lot as an animator, and it makes me be like, how is it even possible yes. that you guys can bring uh. this magic? No, to the screen like this. Yeah, that's a great point. And I mean, I can't even praise the animators enough for this. So not only were the animation beautiful, and I can't even imagine how much time it must have taken for just everything you just described. I thought this film just did such a beautiful and great job of describing things visually too without having to say anything. I'm like, okay, I understand exactly what is being described upon just for in my head with the images I'm being presented as from the animators. And just from that perspective alone, I was so appreciative. But from the perspective of how beautiful everything was done, I'm like, I can't even imagine how long it must have taken them to to make this animation come to life because it is so particular, is so well done. And again, just so many iconic images I saw throughout the film done so well, so beautiful. So hats off to the animation team. And again, especially Peter Ramsey, of course, too. I'm sure he was working extremely close with that team as opposed to, "Ah, you guys do your thing, I trust you. (laughs) Yeah, it feels like, you know, you can always tell a labor of love. I'm sad I never saw it in the past. I know many people have been praising it for years, but on the flip side, I'm grateful I got to react to it. Uh, with you, Sintel, of course. Yes, And yes. Uh, that you guys got to experience our reactions. So, yeah, no, if uh, you guys want uh, Sintel and I to react to anything that you can think of that's closely related in terms of tone, story-wise, and just beautiful animation that's similar to Rise of the Guardians, please let us know in the comments section. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, if we see something that looks good, we will definitely give it a, a watch along. And uh, also, what did you think of this film? Is it iconic to you? Did you love it? Were there things about it you didn't like? 
there's no wrong answers. It's all subjective. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. And before you go, if you could hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and smash the like button so you can let YouTube know that you are enjoying what you're watching. We'd appreciate it. I'm Andrew Flash Gordon, and this is... Hey, it's your boy, Sintel. We'll see you guys next time.